All right, part two. We're going to be working on the body, which is basically these three pipes. We've got this pipe, which houses the battery and the way the battery connects to the cables. We have this pipe, which houses the thing that we made in part one. And we've got this part, which houses the actual body of the drill. So what the only things you have to watch out for in this part is get yourself a drill that you're ready to chop into, into pieces and make sure that this pipe is actually, a, you know, it can house the top of the drill. So let me get an example. Here is an example. I'm not going to be using this drill, but as an example, this top bit, we're basically going to be cutting the drill into, I think it's, yeah, just two pieces. So we cut along here. And this top bit, from there upwards, is going to fit into that pipe if we were to use this drill. And then this bottom bit will mount on the back and then, yeah. So make sure your drill fits in, inside that pipe. Obviously this would be a bit too long if I was to use this. Alright, that's, that's one thing you got to look out for. The next thing, it doesn't really matter how, how long these pieces are. But what I've gone for is the middle pipe is 350, 350 mil millimeters. I've done this one 270 millimeters, and the battery compartment doesn't really matter, but it's for aesthetics 230 mil. So we've got those three things. We're gonna need these uh, for the main body this is where the pipe comes in so I've got three bearings just bolted in there the pipe comes in spins on those bearings and that you can use any bearings that fit whatever you're comfortable with and then for this bit what I've got is I've, I'm gonna be doing it out of plexiglass you can use wood if, you want, if that's what you want to do and basically those kind of you're able to mount the, the pipes together with those so what what I'm gonna do is I'll take the pipe I'll place it down like that I'll place the other pipe like that and when I get the distance right and I like the distance I'll just like spray paint and then I'll know exactly what I need to cut out in order to make these I'll show you later on and you'll understand and that's pretty much it. So all we got to focus on is mounting these three pipes together in this part. That's it. And then we'll work on the next part as we go. All right, now that I've cut out these bits, I've got two of these style bits and four of these. I just like to mix it up with a different style so it doesn't look the same all the way around. So I've got I've got them ready to go. I've drilled a hole through the center of this one. Just so I don't want to use glue all the time. I rather use some like screws. So what I'll be doing is I'll be gluing along here and I'll be having that screw like screw it in from the inside. And it just makes it that that extra bit stronger and yeah you, so you'll be gluing anyway to make to cover the seam up and glue it but uh, using a screw through here is going to allow you to really uh, bash the minigun around so that's it for the other ones I'll be drilling holes 90 degrees to the pipe all the way through and then the same thing from the inside I'll be screwing them on and and gluing it also but yeah you wouldn't want to go you wouldn't want to just use glue because it would fall apart in a couple of months all right all right i've glued it all together and i've screwed it all together and it's looking pretty good i didn't put the pipes exactly next to each other i put one lower the other one lower basically yeah, that's it, that's gonna dry and that's 
that's going to be super strong. It's actually going to be stronger than the first one I made because I didn't actually screw all of them in. I just put like one screw there, one screw there. The rest is glued because yeah, it was the first one. So next step is going to be making these. These. This is where the pipe goes in, and these are just normal bearings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, take the template that we have from before, and you just lay it over the caps. Here I've got the caps over here. So I've got two caps left. I'll lay it over. I'll spray, spray paint, drill the holes, and then. What I'll do is I'll take a bit of pipe, that the same bit of pipe that's going to be uh, going through the middle, and so I'll take the pipe that's meant to go through the middle, which is from part one. You saw. I'll just put a piece of it in. I'll line up the bearings. I'll make marks, and then I'll just bolt the bearings in. And then when I put the put the pipe in, it should be a nice tight fit in there. So basically at the end it'll be like that. One on that side, one on this side. You don't have to glue these caps in. They can just you can just leave them like that because you'll the way the way I've done it is these are removable so you can take the pipe out and it's easier to transport it. Alright so we'll do we'll make the caps. Here it is. We've got the bolts on and the bearings inside. And that's that is the body part done. The next part will be the metal part, the metal frame. And yeah, you don't have to glue this or screw this one in yet because you're gonna have to put the drill motor in there and test fit it a few times before you get it right and also you have to do the wiring so don't glue that one in. If you can uh, grind away these brackets so it holds itself in that's good. I actually don't have mine glued in, mine actually comes off. You can take it off and put it on. Yeah, I think that's it.